Take a drive and we leave the city You grab my hand and say you wanna be with me I tell you I'm not going nowhere Seems like a pretty good place to drive The night is young and we're feeling restless My fingers trace your mother's necklace The one she gave you last December It was a beautiful night but painful to remember Hi, this is Katie. In today's video, I am in Austin, Texas. I'm here visiting one of my friends for the week and I just wanted to take you guys along with me today. While I'm out and about, I'm gonna go to a park. I'm parked at a park right now. And I'm probably just gonna go to another couple places in Austin that I think are cool. And so yeah, I really hope that you guys are interested in this video. If you are, I hope that you're subscribed and I hope that you keep watching. Okay, so first things first, yes, I did get new glasses. These are from glassesusa.com and I wanna thank them for sponsoring this video. Specifically that these glasses, and I'll show you in a second, these are transitions lenses and if you guys don't know what that means basically right now if you can see they're just regular lenses right but once I go out into the sunlight and they are um, exposed to UV rays they darken so they turn into sunglasses they're literally glasses that turn into sunglasses when they are exposed to the Sun and with these glasses you do have light protection you have a hundred percent UV light protection for your eyes and they're super convenient obviously because you don't need to keep switching out your glasses depending on the light so anyway let's go outside so I can show you guys how these work Okay, so just after a few seconds, do you see them starting to darken? Isn't that nuts? I think that's so cool. So glassesusa.com offers over 9,000 prescription glasses and sunglasses, including in-house brands like Muse and designer brands like Ray-Ban, and they're all up to 70% off retail prices. And what's cool is that if you don't really know what kind of glasses you want, they have an online quiz that you can fill out and they can give you suggestions. And also they have a virtual try on feature so you can just upload a picture and try on the glasses online. And these are my new glasses. These are the Atato After Hours in gold. They also offer blue light glasses, contact, lenses and they have free shipping and returns and a hundred percent money back guarantee and i think these are really good for people who like don't want to carry around two pairs of glasses right if you don't want to carry around your regular glasses and your sunglasses these are perfect you'd only need one pair so if you guys are interested in checking out glassesusa.com's transitions lenses i will have a link in my description I think they're very cool. And I love this style because I think they look really cool as glasses and as sunglasses. And now I have them as both. <laughs> All right, but thank you so much to Glasses USA for sponsoring this video. I really like these glasses. I think they're really fun. You guys know how much like I'm into glasses and I've been shopping with glassesusa.com for years. And so I'm really excited to work with them again and to have these glasses. So thanks again. And now let's see some of Austin. So right now I'm at some park. There's a sign right here, hold on. Okay, I guess I'm at the Alliance Children's Garden and I'm like right south of downtown. I'll show you on my map where I am on my phone. I literally just typed in parks. A lot of you guys know I like to go to parks when I'm in different towns. Can you see that? But so downtown is like up here-ish. And then I'm just right south of here. So there's water. Oh, can you just see me for my, <laughs> my, um, my phone? All right, well. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, okay. This is not what I was expecting. The ant colony. Look at these guys. <laughs> Hello. Nice to see you. I think this park is like connected to a bunch of other parks, I think. And I kind of want to see some water. And then, um, oh, I do have some driving footage of driving downtown on my way here. So I will show that now and then we'll get back to this park. Just roll the windows down. Won't you cruise with me? Let's drive real far. I don't know where we'll go, but I'm happy if you are. So there's a little bit of downtown here. Look, I'm pretty close just kind of across a bridge. So I used to actually live in Austin probably like seven or eight years ago. So I think it was like right when I started doing YouTube. Um, I was living in Austin. I actually lived a little bit north-ish. I think I lived in like Cedar Park, I think, or something. Um, 
and I never like really loved Austin. I was pretty neutral about it, but also that might be because I lived like pretty far north of it and I was never really in like Austin proper. So you me, like, but I also just, I don't know, it just kind of seems like, to me at least, it seems just kind of like any other mid-sized city, but there's definitely still like beautiful parts of it for sure. I just know that some people like love Austin and I've always been like, yeah, I think it's fine. <laughs> like, I'm just like, yeah, I think it's fine. Um, I want to show you whatever I'm looking at right now. Hold on. What is this like? I wonder if you can climb on it <laughs> or if it's just a sculpture. Oh no, I think you climb on it. Look, cause there's like little like rock climbing rock things. That is cool, whatever that is. Um, yeah, so like I don't hate this city by any means, but I just, um, I don't know. I think that I generally prefer places like Bozeman, Montana, <laughs> and it's almost hard for a city to compete <laughs> with Bozeman. <laughs> so I feel like every other city for me is like, yeah, it's good, it's fine, I like it, it's fine. But they do have In-N-Out Burger. <laughs> which I definitely have been here for like a few days already and I've gotten it several times. Um, and Austin also has my favorite church, um, Austin Stone. I used to go to the downtown campus when I lived here. So Austin does have a couple like really good perks. Also, one of my favorite restaurants was Caprao. I can't eat that anymore right now with all my dietary restrictions, but it's like Thai and sushi. If you guys are in Austin and you want really good like Thai food or sushi, uh, Caprao, Caprao, love it. All right, found some water. Not that I can go in it, but. Also, one of my issues with Austin is just my issue with the South in general, any Southern state. I cannot deal with this heat. Hi, puppy. I can't deal with this heat. I saw a puppy. I get distracted by dogs every single time I see one. Um, right now, actually, it's not even that hot. It's nine o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I wanted to be outside early to try to beat some of the heat, but it's only 81 right now. But it will be 104. <laughs> That's nonsense. No, that's nonsense. Like, I, again, I've been here for a few days already, and I think it's been 100 every single day. That's nonsense. I, <laughs> your girl does not do well in the heat. But when I lived here, it was like in the winter and spring and a little bit in the fall. So I kind of skipped out on most of the heat. Anyway, here's some more water. I'm just chatting. It's being chatty. A lot of you guys, if you watched my recent videos, you'd know that my mental health has not been the best. And I have just been like putting things into action to work on that. And so one of those things is to walk more. Uh, one of the things is being in therapy, you know, doing a bunch of stuff like that. Um, but I just didn't go on my walk this morning. So going on a little walk now. Oh, and those videos, I hope that they don't seem like, oh, look, I'm better now. And then the next video, I'm like, oh, I'm worse. And then the next video, like, oh, I'm better. Because that's not what it is. It's more like, I'm just working on things. Like, I hope we all are. And I just want to show you guys, like, the whole process of me working on things. So there are definitely some times where I feel more defeated. Definitely some times where I know I'm putting effort into things. And I have better priorities and focus, you know. So it's just up and down. But I hope that um, sharing the process, you know, kind of makes sense for you guys. Cause I know some people, when they share things, they only share things once they perfect them. And that's not me. <laughs> that's not me. I want to show you guys the whole process. All right. Crossing the street. See if there's more something. And this thing. <laughs> Do you see that? I don't know if it's graffiti or if they like used it for actual use, but it just says water with an arrow to the water. Ooh. There's a bunch of people like walking and jogging in here. I guess this is some little trail. There's the bridge. Huh. <laughs> okay, maybe I'm starting to like Austin a little bit more than I thought. 
<laughs> it has been years since I've been here. <laughs> and this is actually really cool in here. Maybe I'm changing my mind. I am very open to changing my mind. This is cool. It's like the secret garden. And I love the bridges. Okay, okay. Maybe Austin's kind of cool. <laughs> okay, I see a sign. Hold on. Oh, avoid contact. Oh, poison ivy. Oh. <laughs> okay, so don't go there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, now I'm nervous. Did I accidentally walk through poison ivy before? <laughs> I don't think so. I think I stayed like just on the trail, but oh goodness, now I'm nervous. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go back the way I came and kind of like go the other way, see if there's anything else in this area before I drive away. Okay, back in the car, it is about 10 a.m. and it is 88 degrees. <laughs> So I'm back in the car sitting in the air conditioning um, because I have therapy right now. I do online therapy through BetterHelp and uh, I do like the little text feature and so I'm just gonna do it on my phone right now. And I just ate a little breakfast. I had a Go Macro sunflower butter and chocolate bar and some water. So all right, I'm gonna do therapy and then we're gonna explore more. Okay, so I had a really good therapy session um, and now it's about 11 o'clock and I think I'm gonna like drive downtown a little bit and then I might go get in and out Burger. <laughs> For lunch I did have a little protein bar for breakfast um, but maybe in an hour or two I might get in and out burger because a lot of you guys know I'm on a super strict diet now but there is a way that I can still eat in and out burger is it as good as how I used to get it no because now I can't get it with the cheese or the spread but it's still pretty decent anyway let's go uh, downtown Austin first drive around I don't know if I'm gonna park and walk around or just drive around a little bit because like I did show you guys some footage of downtown a little earlier um, but I'm just gonna go to like a different part of downtown because downtown Austin is pretty big so I mean not like New York big but like pretty big um, and so yeah let's just go head downtown Nashville stares at us through the rear view You tell me you finally feel like the real you You've been changing for quite some time And everything feels so different We trash the map cause we're not in a hurry Got no plans, got no worries Painted clouds in a desert sky Driving towards the next sunrise Let's roll the windows down Won't you cruise with me? Let's drive real far I don't know where we'll go But I'm happy if you are So, while I was driving around a little bit more I saw that there's a bridge that you can walk over. Like, I think it's actually like a separate walking bridge. Um, and you guys know how much I love bridges. And I don't think I've ever walked over one before, <laughs> which is like crazy. Um, so I actually just parked in the same parking lot that I parked in before when I was walking around because I think it's right around here, I think. But yeah, I drove downtown a little bit, went on Congress, Went down 6th a little bit, just to show you guys some of that. But when I saw that there was a bridge to walk over, I think it was like right where I was, <laughs> I think. And I probably could have parked closer, but I already knew that that parking lot was there and it wasn't a million dollars to pay, so I just parked there. Because obviously when I was at that little trail before, I was like, oh, there's bridges here. But I guess I just didn't see that there was an entrance or anything to walk over them. I didn't notice, so we're gonna see. Okay, so there is a parking lot much closer but it's filled anyway, so. I think I found it. So down there is some water, obviously. Go on that little trail. But this looks like a bridge. We found it, we found it. This is exciting. This is very exciting. So that's the bridge that we saw before. There's downtown. Oh, there's people kayaking and paddle boarding down there. That's really cool. And there's benches, you can sit and hang out. This is so cool. I like this. Okay, 
I am starting to like Austin a little bit more than I thought I did. I always just thought I was like neutral about it. Like, oh, whatever, it's just Austin. I always thought I was like neutral. Now, I'm a little more positive than neutral. <laughs> there are definitely some cool spots. As always, these are the love of my life, walking sandals, hiking sandals, whatever. I have them in three colors. I love them. I'll have them linked. They're from Amazon. They're like 25 or $30 and they're so comfortable. Oh, that bridge is a train bridge. <laughs> That makes sense. So basically, I'm gonna go to that little patch of uh, grass or whatever and loop around and go back. Ready? Just gonna follow these arrows around. <laughs> that some people did this like little like love lock thing oh that's cute okay so I just got off the bridge right there and then came around and remember I said there was like a little side trail that went down I'm gonna go see what's down here I don't know if there's like water access down here or if it's just a little part of a trail this is basically what I showed you earlier, earlier in the video. This is kind of the same trail as that, like on the other side. Does that make any sense? What up? <laughs> Just another part of a trail. That's a very cool view. This is very cool, come on. So there's the walking bridge that we just went over. And this trail keeps going, but I think I'm gonna turn around. Also, if you're visiting, Austin has a ton of bikes you can rent, which is cool. Okay, back in the car. Um, if anyone wants to go on that bridge, I'm not entirely sure what it's called, so if someone does know, please let us know in the comments, but it was basically at the corner of West Riverside Drive and North Lamar Boulevard. Oh, going into South Lamar Boulevard. So Lamar Boulevard. <laughs> um, and there's like at that corner kind of is where that bridge was. That was really cool. That was really, really cool. I like that a lot. All right, now I... I think I'm gonna go to french fries. And then also, <laughs> I have to tell you guys something. <laughs> Yesterday, I went to In-N-Out Burger and I got a burger. I actually got two burgers and fries, I was hungry. But now my burgers are really just like meat with a lettuce wrap with onions, pickles, grilled onions, mustard. And uh, yesterday, <laughs> I'm pretty sure uh, that I ate paper. <laughs> like the paper wrapper that the burgers are wrapped in, pretty sure I ate some. Um, if you follow my Instagram, I posted a picture on there because I was just eating, I was just eating. I didn't really notice anything different, but then I looked down and the paper had what looked like a bite mark in it. Um, I'll show you the picture here. So I was like, did I just rip the paper in a very strategic way where it looked like a bite or did I straight up bite and swallow the paper? <laughs> So let me know in the comments if you know that you've ever swallowed paper from like a burger or something wrapped in paper before because I'm sure like most of us have done it we, even if we don't know we did it but I'm pretty sure I did it yesterday <laughs> and so I was like oh my gosh am I gonna get sick but I ended up being fine but um I just thought it was really funny <laughs> all right let's just go get some food Won't you cruise with me let's drive real far
chewed is all over me. No, pretty good. <clears throat> I had to wipe my face a thousand times while I was eating. <laughs> Eating a lettuce wrap burger, I feel like it's always the messiest thing in the world. So ended up going to In-N-Out Burger, getting just a single patty hamburger and a set of fries. Um, I'll read to you guys what I got because In-N-Out is really good with food allergies. And a lot of you guys know I have a ton of food allergies right now. I've been off gluten for like 10 years, but right now I also can't eat dairy, soy, eggs, a bunch of other stuff. And In-N-Out is like really good with that kind of stuff. And so what I ordered was just one hamburger. I got it protein style, which means lettuce wrapped. So that means no bun. And I told them to not put any tomatoes or spread. Spread is like their special sauce, but there's eggs in it, so I know I can't have it. And then I got raw onion, extra grilled onion, mustard, pickles. And then I told them I have an allergy to gluten, dairy, and tomato because I have other allergies, but they don't really pertain to what I was ordering. So the main ones are like, please keep away any of the cheese, any of the bread products, um, and then obviously the tomatoes, no ketchup, stuff like that. I wonder if the spread has tomato in it too. It might actually, I don't really know. But then I also got a fry well done with grilled onions. But anyway, yeah, so um, that was my little lunch. It is currently 1.15 and, oh, I don't have have anything on my lips you guys know I do not like when my lips are bare I don't like it I'm just gonna put some chapstick on I just have a little like EOS one I think the EOS you can get a target and stuff I think it's better in the egg shape but I have these as well it feels really weird to put chapstick on or lipstick or anything with my right hand I'm left-handed I don't know if you guys know that so that just felt really weird <laughs> to do that <laughs> All right, but I think that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed hanging out with me while I was in Austin. And thank you again to glassesusa.com for sponsoring this video. I love these glasses. I think they look so cool. They have a ton of designs on their site that I really like. So check out the link in my description if you are interested in checking out some transitions lenses. Um, but yeah, I think that's gonna be it. I hope that you're subscribed and following me on Instagram, but I guess that's it. Thanks again for watching and I hope that you have a wonderful day. I love you, Jesus loves you, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.